Good. Hi, Steve. Hi, everybody. It is Brad Tassel. Welcome. I am Brad. Uh, did that work at all? I can't believe it worked. I think it, well, it kind of worked. I, I said his name badly. So, but I want to welcome everybody and a lot of new people. And Mac, Mac Dryden, how are you? I'm doing great, Brad. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. You're good. And thank you. Mac will be talking to us later, uh, a lot later, so all the people he brought in won't leave. Uh, and Annie Mosier is here. She looks, uh, looks Hi, talented and brilliant, the soul of a true artist. True, Annie? I hope true. so. It's How true. It's true. The soul of a true artist. And when you see her later, the, the home of somebody who just has an okay house. So... Uh, <laughs> I am Brad Tassel. This is where I start. I do jokes. You live through them and we move on with our lives. So here we go. Let's start right now. Take one. Joke number one. So did you see Elon Musk, uh, whose face looks like the smell of his name, <laughs> <laughs> will host SNL May 8th? In a statement, uh, executive producer Lauren Michaels said, I'd like to go to space. <laughs> Thanks. The cast is not happy with the choice, by the way. And uh, as they dislike working with talentless billionaires, as we've seen in the past, uh, one cast member, Andrew Dismuke, said the only CEO he wants to do a sketch with is Sherry O'Terry, who has never gotten to host the show. Uh, so Elon, by the way, he is showing how funny he is. He tweeted, Let's find out how live Saturday Night Live really is. The cast, after seeing such brilliance, has formed a suicide pact. <laughs> <laughs> or at least asked if Steven Seagal was available again. <laughs> uh, for any of you who saw the Steven Seagal. Did you see the Steven Seagal? Uh -huh. No. Okay. So Joe Biden, everybody, Joe Biden, during his speech oh, to Congress God. last night, said... To all transgender people at home, especially young people, so brave, the president has your back. Come on, everybody. That has never been said by a president before. Uh, and uh, transgender young people have responded. They said, thank you, Mr. President, but please maybe stand more over to the side and don't sniff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, I can make fun of Mr. Biden a little bit. Come on, guys. Wow, we really we really do have the left wing going on here. It's a weird thing. Okay. Uh, oh, here's fun. A Miami private school says it won't employ any teacher who gets the COVID vaccine because they don't know how being in proximity to the teacher who has been vaccinated could affect the children. That <laughs> is crazy. I know. There is so much stupid in this sentence, we need to slow down. <laughs> okay <laughs> so first of all guess what we always know we already know 100 percent that affected people with covid what they have on children they give them covid right yeah. but we don't know about the vaccine so leela Setner is the co-founder of the school named after herself that calls itself the brain school <laughs> which is good because they're still advertising to find one <laughs> <laughs> and Santner said, and this is a quote, we will not employ anyone who has taken the experimental COVID-19 injection until further information is known. Okay, how does she think vaccines work? Anybody? I mean, does she think that once you take the vaccine that you emit tiny droplets from every breath that infect everyone in a six foot radius? Oh, wait, that's COVID. It does that. Oh, God. So even worse, easy to even vaccinate people. That's right. Even worse, it's the teachers that are going to get COVID from the kids. Mm -hmm. So, by the way, Sentner, if you don't know, is a known anti-vax nut who has peddled lies and propaganda and conspiracy for years, as witnessed by their recent school science project, uh, their science fair project, thalidomide, a pregnant woman's best friend. Oh. 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 Bill, Bill's thinking better of coming to this show for the first time. But I tell you, Mac Dryden's here. <laughs> Later. Is Mac still here, Steve? That's the big question. Yeah, he's here. Okay. I just noticed that a lot of these are dark this week. Here we go. Listen to this. They had the Oscars on Sunday night. Who watched the Oscars? As I look at you, anybody watch the Oscars? That's right. Nobody watched the Oscars. <laughs> And many were disappointed in the lackluster show. It was so bad at one point 
so bad at one point that a few of the stars in the audience wish they were in the memorandum instead. <laughs> See, that's 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 the yeah. tape where people are dead. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Uh, well, let's look around and see if we should cut anything. Nope, we're going to do it all. Suffer, <laughs> suffer, that's what I say. Hey, GOP Congresswoman Lauren Boebert, uh, who gives us all a warning about the harm of eating lead paint chips. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no lead paint chips. Uh, along with Fox News, along with Fox News, we're spreading a fake story all last week that Joe Biden will uh, severely restrict red meat in the United States. How much you can, they will force severe red meat restrictions on all Americans. Uh, so forcing by law, they keep saying, that all God-loving Americans to cut their beef consumption by 90%. Did you know this, Steve? I've heard it. Because, I heard oh, that yeah. But, was a rumor. Okay, <laughs> by the way, there is no policy or mandate in the works because after getting caught and failing to chip the vaccine, Sleepy Joe has got to get the Gates chip in Republicans somewhere. <laughs> so enjoy your rib. I'm watching you. <laughs> I'd like everybody at Facebook to know there's over 200 people in this show and you only hear three laughing. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. How about that? We all remember Rudy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rudy was served a warrant for his New York apartment. Right? Did you see that? Yes. The warrant was for evidence into his dealing dealings with the Ukraine and for evidence uh, into his lobbying efforts during the time he was Trump's attorney. Trump's response. I never really knew him. Saw him a couple times, but he's a loser. <laughs> so that was Trump's response. <laughs> By the way, uh, people are wondering what things were confiscated as evidence from Rudy's apartment by the feds. So here they are, the top things the feds seized from Rudy Giuliani's apartment. Number one, six more Hunter Biden laptops. <laughs> Number two, the second thing that they confiscated from Rudy's apartment one case of a Ronald Reagan brand sweat resistant jet black hair dye. <laughs> the third thing. Who let the dogs out? The third thing that they confiscated 70,000 Trump balance marked return to sender. <laughs> because <laughs> he mailed them out okay the fourth thing a kraken me there was a kraken oh. <laughs> oh. Mm, yeah. i'm gonna do there's 33 of these and i'm doing them all <laughs> the fifth thing the fifth thing that they confiscated from rudy gian's apartment an unread copy of how to stay out of jail is trump's lawyer <laughs> it was unread because his other lawyers went to jail okay the sixth thing they found and confiscated a shirtless picture of Vladimir Putin signed thanks for the cuddles Vlad oh. <laughs> thanks for the cuddles and the last thing that they found OJ's knife. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I need music right there. But but that but that but Okay. By the way, there was lots of Biden news this week because a lot went on. Uh, this week, uh, as the Oval Office has announced, the president will ban menthol cigarettes. That's cool. Who saw that? Yeah, everybody saw that. A lot of shaking heads. Yeah. Uh, on this news, by the way, Marlboro maker Philip Morris announced its new partnership with Vicks Vapor Rub. <laughs> <laughs> Nicotine. Mm. <laughs> that was my favorite joke. <laughs> okay, I got one more. If this one doesn't go, I'm oh. going to go to Steve. <laughs> if it does, I'm going to go to Steve. Either way, yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. 
<laughs> and you know what? I should have closed with that one because I have no faith in this last joke. Here we go. <laughs> For the first time in history, if you saw the if you saw the speech last night, which was which is a lovely speech. For the first time in history, there was no designated survivor stashed away during President Biden's speech. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? I that? Yeah. Yeah. As the cabinet did not attend the speech. Now, many think that the uh, new cabinet was absent for COVID restrictions, but in reality, their collective diversity in race, gender, sexuality, etc., would have scared most GOP Congress members into the fetal position. Nice. <laughs> 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 They were worried that uh, 911 would have been overwhelmed with their panic calls. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs>